guru made for you. This is the lesson on using Kramer's rule to solve linear systems. So, Gabriel Kramer was a mathematician who developed a rule using a matrix to solve a linear system. So this is the fifth method to solve a system of linear equations. But first, let's just solve this simple system here so that we know what the answer is. So, yeah. So we can multiply this by a negative 1. So we can use the elimination. So negative 5x minus 3y equals negative 4. Those cancel out. 12 minus 5 is 7. 7x is equal to 14. I mean, 7x is equal to 14. Because 18 minus 4 is equal to 14. x is equal to 2. So we plug it back in. 12 times 2 plus 3y equals 18. 24 plus 3y is equal to 18. 3y is equal to negative 6, y is equal to negative 2. So, our final answer is 2, negative 2. All simple stuff, right? Well, now we're going to find a new method, which is a bit more complicated, but it will help when we solve equations with 3 or more equations and 3 or more variables, because substituting or canceling out the variable five times is not that fun. So let me clear the space. So let's start with the original equation again. The original equation was 12x plus 3y is equal to 18 and 5x plus 3y is equal to 4. So, we're going to use something called a matrix. A matrix is looks like this. This is a 2 by 2 matrix because we have two, a 2 by 2 grid. So let's say we have this, x, y, z, a. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. And a matrix is just a little organizing kind of thing. It's just a little thing in brackets. It, ha it can be like this. It can be... This is a matrix. This is a matrix. There, it's just a... Um, way of organizing. So first, what we have to do is we have to compare the system we have to this system right here. And that system is AX plus BY is equal to E and CX plus DY is equal to F. So all I did here was take out the constants and plug in variables for the coefficients. So the 12 would be the A, the 3 would be the B, the 18 the E, the 5 the C, the 3 the D, and the 4 is the F. Based on this, we have to create a coefficient matrix. A coefficient matrix. And this is a matrix with the coefficients. So the coefficient matrix is this. It's a 2 by 2 matrix and so it has four values and we have four coefficients. So we do A, C, B, D. So we have A, B and then C and D. And so basically we just put these values in the order that it already is with the X coefficients on the left side and the Y coefficients on the right side and that is our coefficient matrix. So let's create one for this equation we have here. We have the matrix, and we have 12, 5, 3, 3. So there we have our matrix. 
12, 5, 3, 3, 12, 5, 3, 3. There's our matrix. So what we do now is we use this coefficient matrix and we find the determinant. Determinant. And let's say this determinant is called A. Determinant A. So determinant A is equal to A times D minus B times C. So basically all we're doing is we're cross multiplying but then instead of like a proportion saying AD is equal to BC we're doing AD minus BC to find our determinant and our determinant is going to help us find X and Y. So AD minus BC we just plug in the values so that's 12 times 3 minus 5 times 3 which is the same thing as 36 minus 15. Therefore, our determinant is 21, right? Because 21 plus 15 is indeed 36. So we took the cross products, we subtracted AD, we subtracted BC from AD, and we got 21 as our determinant, our determinant. Determinant A is 21. So using this determinant, we're going to find X and Y. So to find X, all we do is we do another matrix. And this matrix is E, F, and then you can't really see this. E, F, and then B, D. Now, if you notice here, when we're solving for X, we took out the coefficients for X, and we replaced them with E and F, which is the results. We're going to call this results. These are the results. So we replaced the X coefficients and plugged in the results in the matrix. And we're going to divide this whole thing by the determinant. And to find y, you might have guessed already, what we do is we keep the x coefficients in the matrix. We keep the x coefficients, a and c, but we replace the y coefficient, since we're solving for y, with the results. So e and f. And then we also divide this by determinant A. So I need to clear some space here. So let me just do that quickly while we solve for x and y. And if we're right, we should get 2, negative 2, I believe, was what we got. So I'll just keep the formulas back there. So let's plug it in. Let's plug in the values. So E would be 18, F is 4, B is 3, and D is 3. And then we divide this by the determinant, and the determinant was 21. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do AD minus BC for the matrix and then divide by determinant A. So which is equal to 18 times 3, if you want to do it to here, is 54, which is the same thing as 9 times 6, because 9 times 2 is 18 times 3, so 9 times 6. 54 is what we're... 54 minus 4 times 3 is 12, over 21, which is 42 over 21, which is... So, x is equal to 2. x equals 2. And that is what we got when we used the elimination method to solve. Now let's do the same thing for y. So y is equal to... y is equal to a, c, e, f, a, 12, 5, 18, 4, 
divided by 21. So we do 12 times 4, which is 48, minus 5 times 18, which is 90, over 21. And so, let's see, 90 minus 48, 42, negative 42, divided by 21. And our magic answer is y is equal to negative 2. So, since we got 2 for x, and we got negative 2 for y, our final answer is 2, negative 2. And that is exactly what we got when we solve with substitute, I mean elimination. So, this method works, and we have a lot of work here, there's a bunch of formulas, but it'll it's very easy if we use this for 3x3 three three matrices or 4x4 four four matrices. And the next lesson will teach us about how to use a 3x3 three three matrix or a 4x4 four four matrix to solve linear systems. So Kramer's rule with a 3x3 three three system. Thanks for watching this lesson on Kramer's rule to solve 2x2 two two linear systems. Thanks. Guru.